Hello, we're the 365 Review Channel, and dedicated to making reviews and media summaries on specific topics we're familiar with, aimed to offer viewers with different insight from multiple perspectives. In this video, we focus on GNU License and Permissive License, two types of intellectual property. The GNU project first announced in 1983 is aimed to give computer users freedom and control in their use of their computers and computing devices by collaboratively developing and providing software that is based on the following freedom rights that is, users are free to run the software, share it, study it, and modify it through its license. GNU software guarantees these freedom rights legally, and is therefore free software, the use of the word free always being taken to refer to freedom. GNU materials are not equivalent to public domain materials, most have context condition attached. Only software created before 1974 slides into the public domain. Instead of putting GNU software in the public domain, GNU is copyleft. Under copyleft license, anyone who redistributes the software with or without changes, however, must pass along the freedom for further copying and changing it. Copyleft guarantees that every user has freedom. This limit the middlemen who modify the public domain software into proprietary software, or non-free, or semi-free software. And GNU closely related license is the permissive license. A permissive software license, sometimes also called BSD-like, or BSD-style license, is a free software license with minimal requirements about how the software can be redistributed. Unlike the GNU license, permissive license is not copyleft. Under the non-copyleft license, people can do anything they want with your code, as long as they provide attribution back to you and don't hold you liable. Permissive licenses are not actually equivalent to releasing works into the public domain. The original authors must be credited or attributed. If a work is truly in the public domain, this is usually not legally required. In U.S. copyright registration, it requires disclosing material that has been previously published. An attribution may still be considered an ethical requirement in academia. A major difference between the set of permissive and copyleft free software licenses is that when the software is being redistributed, either modified or unmodified, permissive licenses do not force the redistributor to open the modified source code. Copyleft licenses enforce the publication of the source code under the copyleft license. Some people argue that copyleft licenses see the world as evil, and therefore enforce freedoms, such as the availability of source code, while permissive licenses see the world as good. Therefore, just allowing good actions and hoping for giving back in form of source code. Permissive licenses do not try to guarantee that future generations of the software will remain free and publicly available in contrast to licenses which have reciprocity requirements which try to enforce this. Permissive licenses place only minimal restrictions on future behavior, offer more extensive license compatibility than copyleft licenses, which cannot always be freely combined and mixed with certain legal time bombs. Hope you enjoy the video, if you do, please consider liking it, sharing it and subscribing to our channel to view our video library. To subscribe, click the subscribe button or click our YouTube webpage link.